Welcome to today's fantastic tutorial. Today we are going to edit this image and we are going to give this image the rich sunset tone or the rich sunset look. So let's get started. So first of all, we'll create a duplicate copy of this layer. So we'll press Ctrl J or Command J on our keyboard to have the access or to make a duplicate of this layer or you can simply click and drag it on the space like icon and it is also going to create a duplicate copy okay so now we have got one duplicate copy first of all we need to blur out this background okay so we'll make a selection of these uh, this uh, this lady and her child okay so for that purpose we can either use the pan tool or the quick selection tool so for this purpose, I'm going to use the quick selection tool. But before I use the quick selection tool, let's add some more contrast to this image so that we can easily make selection of this area. So we'll go to the adjustment and we will come over here on the levels adjustment and we'll add some contrast. Okay. And we'll bring down this. Uh, we'll in mid tone will increase this mid tone okay so that we get to see the clear view and bring this even also over here and let's add contrast something like this okay and that way what will happen the edges of this uh, this lady and her child would become sharper okay so for that purpose we'll take the w or we'll press the w or we'll take the quick selection tool from here or we can simply press w all right sorry sometimes i speak rubbish okay so let me start quickly painting over this lady and and as you can see it is making this selection very easily and don't have to be perfect over here because we don't want to remove uh, we don't want to blur this area okay so what we are going to blur we are going to blur this area all right so quickly make a selection all right over the child as well and over here over here okay and uh, let's include her legs as well something like this okay and include her leg as well all right and let's zoom in further by pressing control and space bar and with your mouse you can zoom in all right and let me just remove this area by pressing alt i can paint in and that is going to remove the extra selection all right and paint in over here so that her heels get included all right from here as well and let's zoom in on the child and let's paint in and remove it from her nose this extra selection and uh, let's remove this area as well because we don't want that we are going to paint in with the help of uh, the smudge tool a little bit hairs okay and uh, over here let's press alt and paint over here to remove this selection which is going outside and maybe something like this all right and you can define it the way you want okay and if you'll spend a little bit time in refining this selection your result would be better all right otherwise you will have to take so much of time later on to refine it so it's better to refine the selection at the very beginning itself all right and what happened with her nose all right the same has again become deselected all right and now our selection is made now we're going to inverse the selection because we don't want to blur this lady and the child we want to blur the background all right so we'll go to the filter and oh sorry we'll go to the select and select inverse or you can simply press ctrl shift i or that way the selection would be outside all right now we have got the selection we'll select this layer and we'll go to the filter select blur and choose lens blur all right and if you have a layer which is uh, the uh, which is a smart object then this 
lens blur will not be available for you so you have to rasterize that layer and then you can use it all right so from here let's increase the blur radius from here and let's say i think i'll go for this much or let's increase it even further maybe something like this and and uh, let's increase the specular highlights brightness so it is going to give us more bokeh or oh, increase it even further let's bring it over here over here yes and you can change the shape of the bokeh from here so i can change it to triangle as you can see over here and now it has turned into triangle but i would go for i think let's say square or let's go for hexagon okay i think i'm pronouncing it properly and let's increase a noise little bit because we don't want this area to look plastic so i think one would be better and amount of one pixels of noise is good and then we'll press ok and it is going to apply the lens blur on this image okay and now we'll add a layer mask over here because we want to remove it from this area we want only this area to be uh, this area above area to be out of focus okay so we want only this area to be out of focus and we want this area to be in focus all right so for that purpose what we can do we will take the gradient tool from here and make sure you select the black to white gradient and then we'll select this linear gradient and we'll click and drag it above and that way it is going to create a smooth transition between this part of the image and this part all right and it is going to throw this rest of the background in out of focus gradually all right and over here as you can see if you want you can take the brush tool from here and make sure this brush is soft as brush and opacity let's say 10 percent or let's say 20 percent if you press 2 on your keyboard it will turn to 20 percent and let's a uh, let's paint a little bit over here so we have to paint with the white color so we are going to paint in okay and let's paint even over here okay and little bit over here okay and this one is fine you can keep on painting and that would give you the more result all right and if you want you can press with the white or you can paint with the white color and that is going to remove the same from this area all right and as you can see let me quickly save my uh, this uh, so let me call it rich sunset ton and okay it's very important that you keep on pressing control s or command s and that way you will be quickly able to save your image because you never know the photoshop when photoshop may get crashed okay so we'll go to the edit purge and i'm going to remove all the histories because i don't need that and if you want please do not use it because purge will remove all the undo capabilities all right so this is for the advanced users and if you know what you are doing if you don't want to revert back then you should not use it all right but i'm going to use it because that way i will same save some resources on my computer all right and come over here and let's refine her here so we'll create a new blank layer over it and we'll take the smudge tool from here where is it okay it's not over here so it is on here let me when if you'll keep on pressing it it is going to 
show you the smudge tool okay so we have got the smudge tool and make sure you select the sample all layers and that way it is going to sample from all the layers okay and let's paint in a little bit so that we get some hairs okay so we can fake this way some hairs and zoom in and you can even shape it a little bit okay and that saves a lot more time because if you would have gone into selecting the hairs that would have taken you forever sometimes it takes lots of time okay when the backgrounds are not clear and let's paint in on the child as well let's refine it a little bit and you can shape them according to your liking okay and I think this one is fine and zoom out all right now we have our background ready and let's start giving it a rich sunset tone so we'll go to the adjustment and from here we'll select this uh, hue and saturation layer and we'll select take this color picker tool or this is hand tool so we'll select it and we'll select this time the green tool or green color so we'll take this color and now we'll change its hue so we'll bring down its hue towards the red side something like here and we'll add the saturation to it little bit of saturation okay and that would give us the warmer tone okay and uh, let's create one more hue and saturation layer and this time again we'll pick the tool and this time we'll take the this sample from the darker green area and let's change its hue as well and increase its saturation even little bit okay and now let's create the sun over here as you can see the light is coming from this side so we are going to fake the sun over here so in order to fake the sun we need to create a gradient adjustment so we'll click this icon and it is going to open up this gradient option and we'll select this gradient from here and we'll select this gradient and it is going to open the gradient editor so we'll select this gradient okay and we'll click on this slider and we'll change its color to black and we'll press ok and we will bring and drag this orange over here and we'll click over here and we'll select the color uh, yellow from here ok and uh, warmer yellow is good bright yellow ok and we'll press OK and we'll save it as a preset. So this is going to be our preset for later use. And we'll press OK. And from this drop down menu, from the gradient style, we have to choose the radial gradient. Okay. And we'll check this reverse option. So we get the sun. Okay, as you can see. And we'll click and drag it something like it as like it, like here. As you know that our sun is coming from this side. So we'll press OK and we'll change its layer blend mode to screen. And the moment we'll do this, you can see it has added our sun. So we'll just double click it and now we'll click and drag it something like here and we'll increase its scale. So we are going to increase its scale. So that way it is going to cover up the entire image something like this and it is going to graduate it so we'll press ok and we'll lower down its opacity so something like this and now we want the copy of the same but this time we want it on this side so we'll press ctrl j or command j to duplicate it and this time we'll just double click it and this time we'll select on this and we'll drag it over here okay and we'll drag it little far okay because we don't want the sun to be over here as well because sun can come only on one side all right and we will press ok and as you can see now it has is the it has added the same tone something like here over here as well 
so we are going to bring down its opacity something like this little bit less than this because this on this area it has to be little darker because the sun is coming from this side so this has to be little more bright okay and now we need to change this a little bit since as you can see it has more yellow over here it doesn't look which doesn't look good okay so we'll go back to this gradient and let me press Control s i forgot to mention that i um, forgot to save this okay and now just double click it and this time i'll drag it out okay something like this and if i want i can make some changes to this as well so what i can do i can click on the this gradient and it is it will open this gradient editor option and this time i'll select on this layer or this uh, slider and i'll choose the color and this time i'll choose the color towards this brighter white okay something like this and I will press OK. I'll create a new preset. So this is going to be available for me for the future reference. And I will press OK. And this time again, I will press OK. And as you can see, now we have this rich sunset tone. And this is looking way, way better. And if you want to... Uh, enhance it even further so let's add some brightness and contrast so increase the contrast and it is going to be a little more darker and let's add a little bit of brightness okay and let's create a new layer blank layer over here and we are going to change this layer blend mode to let's say color doge okay and from the swatches panel we'll take the this orange color okay and we'll take the soft edge brush from here and make sure the opacity is 20%. We'll increase the size of the brush and we'll paint over here. Okay. And we can paint it something like this. So we'll painting from this side to this side. So it is going to add some light. Okay. And now change this color to let's say white. Okay. And this time we'll change, we'll paint with the 10% opacity. So we'll click and drag it something like this okay and that is going to add some little bit more uh, brightness to this and if you feel you have done overdone it you can undo it okay and let's lower down the opacity if you want and this is looking way way better okay so let me just show you full screen what is the final result so this is the final result and let me show you the starting image. So this was our starting image and this result. I hope you liked today's episode. I hope you have learned a lot. And if you want, you can download the exercise file so that you can follow along. And please, please do subscribe to my channel and please do share your images or your work on my facebook group which is called the lens of you you can join that by clicking the link in the description section below and the link to the download exercise files is also in the description section description section sorry description section below okay so thank you so much bye bye see you in the next episode and please do let me know what you think about this cool effect